Plankton was walking down the streets of Bikini Bottom. While walking he overheard Sandy Cheeks and Spongebob having a conversation. I'm telling you Spongebob, this formula I discovered will turn anyone who drinks it into your slave, giving you complete mind control over them, Sandy explained. That sounds dangerous, gulped Spongebob. Exactly. That's why I have decided never to make it or share the recipe. Hearing this Plankton became scheming. If I can get my hands on that formula I can make crabs drink it and demand he give me the Krabby Patty secret formula. Ha 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 ha. Comma he said to himself, Miss Cheeks, what was that mind control formula you were talking about, Plankton? I am telling no one what this formula, especially you, Sandy yelled. She then stomped on Plankton and they continued on their way. Ouch, cried Plankton. Later on at the chum bucket Plankton was obsessing over the mind control formula. I have to get my hands on that formula. He shouted you can't even steal the Krabby Patty formula. Now you're going after another one? Karen sighed, if I can get crabs to drink that formula I'll make him give me the Krabby Patty recipe. This plan can't fail. Plankton shouted, well why haven't you tried going to the squirrel who made it? Karen asked, gee why didn't I do that before? Comma Plankton said sarcastically, with my mind connect actor you can transfer the formula from Sandy's brain directly into your mind. Karen explained. She showed a diagram on her screen displaying how the mind connector worked. It looked like two plunger caps connected with a rubber hose. One end would go over Plankton's head, and the other end would be attached to Sandy's head. It will suck information about the formula and transfer it into Plankton's brain. Wow, that's a good idea. Plankton complimented. Karen then extended her robot arm and stuck one end of the mind connector to Plankton's head. Tonight he would pay Sandy a visit. That night Plankton sneaked into Sandy's tree dome. He was quiet and stealthy so he wouldn't wake her. He finally made it to the top of her bed. He was standing on her pillow, right next to the sleeping squirrel's head. She was fast asleep. Okay, let's see how this works. Plankton said as he attached the mind connector to Sandy. The device began to make sucking sounds, and chunks could be seen moving through the hose into Plankton's brain. Plankton grunted. Huh, un- the formula for a mind control potion. Yes yes here it is. Plankton began to excitedly celebrate. With this mind control potion the Krabby Patty recipe will be mine in no time. Ha 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 yee Plankton then covered his mouth with his hands, shocked at what just came out his mouth. Okay that was weird. Like I was saying, with this potion I'll have the Krabby Patty recipe faster than a roadrunner drinking coffee. Plankton then covered his mouth again in shock. He refused to believe he just blurted out the cow entryism. Who said that? Huh. Con. Plankton began to grunt and wince in pain. What's happening to me? Karma he grunted. He was grabbing his head in pain. A few brown hairs began sprouting on his skin. Within seconds Plankton had patches of brown fur all over. He could feel the fur growing on his head under the palms of his hands. Fur? Karma he grunted. He was now completely covered in fur, resembling Sandy Cheek's fur. He almost so sprouted ears like Sandy's and had her bikini and skirt. Plankton could feel something coming out of his lower back. He turned back to see a long bushy tail sprout from his backside. It then sprang into a curl, looking exactly like a squirrel's tail. A squirrel tail? What? Comma Plankton grunted. He then opened his eye. His unibrow disappeared, and Sandy's eyelashes sprouted in its place. Plankton's eye rolled into the back of his head. Sandy's eye rolled into its place. Plankton's teeth cracked and shattered. Sandy's buck teeth grew in their place. Plankton was now a clone of Sandy Cheeks. Howdy y'all. I feel fresher than a bowl of corn straight off the cob. An antenna suddenly came out of the mind connector. It was a radio from Karen. Did you get the formula? She asked. I sure did, Plankton said in a country accent. Well, what are you waiting for? Get it back to the chum bucket. Karen, this formula is very dangerous and using it to commit crimes is wrong. What? Oh brother. Frustrated Karen then pushed the button label return. The end of the mind connector attached to Sandy came off and began flying like a helicopter, flying the now changed plankton home.